So I was watching a video the other day and I saw someone making a soap using soap dough on the top. Soap dough, if you don't know, is just soap that hasn't fully hardened yet and you can mold it like clay. This person was using the soap dough to make the Among Us characters. If you don't know about Among Us, stop what you're doing right now, go download it because I'm completely addicted. For the first time that I've ever seen someone use soap dough, I thought, hey, I can do that. And so I did. These are adorable, check them out. Orange guy. This guy, I, I even put the hats on uh, like they have in the game. This guy's wearing a uh, bird's nest on. Cheese head. Little knife. Toilet paper. Little egg. Little pink flowery headband. My personal favorite, which reminds me of my favorite poem from Shel Silverstein. And I read it to my class every year. Um, you can look it up. A little dead guy. And what's among us without some vents to go into. My camera cut out, I ran out of storage. So I didn't get to film all of them, but this is how I made most of it. First I shaped their bodies uh, by rolling them into like uh, cylinders and then I flattened it out a little bit and used some clay sculpting tools to cut out their legs. I made the legs a little bit longer than they needed to be because I was going to be putting them in the top of the soaps. I also saved the part that I took out from between their legs and used it to make the backpacks. To make their masks, I just rolled a little bit of the light blue into a bowl and kind of just smushed it on their faces. When it came to making the hats and the different headgears, I opened up the app and just looked at all of the different customization options. There were so many, I just chose my favorites. Then I just kind of made them with the soap dough and shaped them with my hands until I thought that they looked right. I used the tools to kind of add some of the details that I felt like it needed. When I was making these Among Us characters, I didn't really keep in mind that they were going to have to fit uniformly on top of the soap. So all of my bars are a little bit different sized for this one. I'm glad you're enjoying watching me make this soap. If you'd like to support us, please give us a like and hit the subscribe and you'll see a picture of the finished soap at the end of this video. Here's a nice picture of all of the soap embeds I'm going to use. Now for the base of the soap. The first thing I'm doing is adding my lye solution to my oils. I'm going to make this a black soap because the Among Us game is played in outer space and I want it to look like outer space. After I cut the bars, I'm going to make um, little specks of white all over the soap using titanium dioxide and a toothbrush to flick it. I didn't film that so I don't have it. <laughs> Sorry. I did use a fragrance for the base of this soap. I used monkey farts and I know monkey farts sounds ridiculous um, but when you think about it, what do monkeys eat? They eat bananas, pineapples, mangoes, all kind of fruit like that. So it has a very fruity smell. The monkey farts fragrance tends to discolor your soap, but I'm using black mica, so that's not gonna make a difference in this case. It's also a very light fragrance in that the fragrance doesn't seem to stick around. It's not very strong after uh, the soap is made. 
I'm using the stick blender because I want this batter to really thicken up. I remember I'm going to be sticking these um, figures on top and I don't want them to just sink to the bottom of the soap. I want them to be suspended on the top of the soap and they're a little bit heavy. So I really want this to be thick. I use a spatula to give the top of the soap a little bit of texture. I had to wait a really long time for the soap to be thick enough so that the pieces didn't fall over. Also, as I was placing the pieces onto the soap, I was trying to eyeball it so that I could get the wire cutter in between each of the pieces and uh, be able to actually cut the soap. This soap took a really long time to make. And uh, I would change a few things if I was to do it again. I would have made their legs longer so that they would be able to stand up better in the soap. And I might have made each one of the pieces smaller so that each piece of soap would be more uniform in size. I know your time is important to you, so thanks for spending it watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button and maybe share it with a friend. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this one. And for more content, head on over to our Instagram or our TikTok pages. And remember, life is short. Use the good soap. I decided to use a popsicle stick to uh, measure the space in between each one of the soaps so that when I'm using my wire cutter to cut the soaps, I don't destroy any of the pieces that I spent so long working to make. So here's the finished top of the soap. And if you happen to play, I'm usually a purple Among Us character with a brown cowboy hat, and my name is Bebop Boop. Say hi if you see me on a game. I really took my time cutting these, and you can see I'm using the popsicle stick again to guide my wire to make sure that I don't cut off any of the pieces.
And there you have it, our Among Us soaps. I really did have a lot of fun making these, but it took a really long time. In the end, I think it was worth it, because let's face it, these are adorable. 